a tapestry of work created by brush strokes with a touch of mixed media such as cloth, acrylic, and oil on canvases collage. The solo exhibition showcases the mastery of Zeke Sumda, currently on display at Kimberley's William Humphreys Art Gallery. The mostly subdued gallery came alive on Thursday when Mda's exhibition opened. His work, which is a collection of narrative art, summarizes most of his life experiences interwoven into his colorful paintings. From his beekeeping project to gender issues, his love for jazz, politics, and the death of loved ones. The current work of the renowned author carries an element of fiction and storytelling. Some are based on scenes from his novels, like the Famo Music 3, which he writes about in his latest novel. Mda's work is subject to individual interpretation. My paintings are what I call narrative art, because each one tells a story. So just like when we are reading any story, it just depends on your own interpretation as a reader or as a viewer of these paintings. Uh, I, as the artist, can, can, cannot prescribe and say this is how you should read the story. The curator, who's also a visual artist, Keisha Chipape Makato, says he wants to give Mda recognition while he's still alive. He says they hope the solo exhibition will draw art aficionados to the gallery, which now has a lot to offer. When they are gone, that's, that's what has been in our news, you know. But we need to give them flowers while they're still alive. We need to uh, create platforms where they can share this knowledge and wisdom. And I feel like creative individuals who will walk into this exhibition after knowing him only as a writer will be inspired to tap into their artistic reservoirs and really express their, their themselves uh, in another medium. Upcoming artists who attended the exhibition praised Mda for agreeing to have his work on display at a gallery in the Northern Cape. Everything I saw was like mixed media, something with music. Um, it's more cultural and spiritual. Well, I love his use of lots of colors. Uh, that the, the paint looks almost like still wet and glossy. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I still, there's still more that I would like to look at, especially on my own. I think it's much better to come look at works when it's quiet. And I love his use of um, his brushwork, like the quick brush strokes, because it almost creates movement in the works. So it's like your eyes follow each brush stroke and then it's like an optical illusion. I love that. Mda is a recipient of the Order of Ikamanga in Silver for his contribution to literature. He has an illustrious career in the arts and academia, with some of his work delving into politics. He was influenced in his formative years by a politically active father who was a founding member of the ANC Youth League and later joined the Pan-African Congress, PAC. Mda says his generation of freedom fighters has failed the country and says only the youth can save South Africa. I feel very bad. Well, how things have unfolded in this country. No, we have messed up this country. I say we because these are people of my generation, people with whom we fought for freedom together, people who were in exile together, you see. We, we, we messed up this country. There is no reason that, for instance, for the next five days, there's no water in Kimberley, you see. It's bad management, you see. Uh, you, you can't blame drought or anything like that. It's just bad management, it's just in, incompetence. The renowned artist will be in Kimberley for two weeks. Mda, who has written over 11 novels, will also offer a master class in creative writing at the gallery next week. A public lecture is on the cards, including a walkabout at the gallery, with Mda explaining each of his paintings. Margaret Mutibi, SABC News, Kimberley.